criticism of Judge Jenkins' plan is building. CBS 11 political reporter Jack Fink live for us in the Dallas newsroom with that part of the story. Jack? Well, Doug, conservatives in Dallas County accuse Judge Jenkins of playing politics, and they say they're planning to voice their concerns at next week's commissioner's court meeting. Emotions overflowed this week in California. Hundreds of residents in a small city there blocked three buses carrying unaccompanied minors who were being transferred from the Texas border. The buses were forced to turn around and head to a new location. And some North Texas conservatives say they won't be surprised to see similar demonstrations here. I would anticipate protests mainly because when people don't know what's going on and they're afraid, people tend to act out. Katrina Pearson, a Garland Tea Party leader, says the problem is Judge Jenkins isn't planning to have the commissioner's court vote on his plan or receive residents' input. So a lot of Tea Partiers, grassroots conservatives, and people in general, parents, will be going to commissioner's court next week to try and have their voices heard. These are sites that have been... Judge Jenkins said today that officials have consulted with neighbors around the three selected sites where the children will stay. And he says no county tax dollars will be used to house the children here because the feds will pick up the tab. Republicans like Kathy Adams of the social conservative group Texas Eagle Forum don't believe it. We're talking about housing, we're talking about food, we're talking about educating, we're talking about medicating. This is a huge expense. Jenkins says people should put aside the politics about immigration because he's trying to help children. But Adams questions his motives. And to go and announce this at a Democrat state convention, he's using it for his own political gain. If this is a political move, and I am the stupidest politician in Texas, um, you know, we're the first community in this nation that has reached out to the federal government. And you heard Jenkins say before that Texas doesn't turn its back on children, but as Republican critics say, he should have reached out and sought more community input before volunteering to bring the children here. Live in the Dallas Newsroom, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.